In 2016, Jason got me a dollhouse for my birthday. I was so excited this dollhouse actually hangs on the wall, so when it is done, it does not take up as much space. This model is the Greenleaf McKinley, and I'll be talking about the build, and at the end, I'll talk about my lessons learned. I was so excited to start, and I opened up the box, and immediately I was overwhelmed. Luckily, the instructions start with this warning. It was still a daunting task, so I headed to the grocery store and got Ziploc bags. I labeled each part and put the parts all into Ziploc bags that I could manage easily as I was building. And then the building process began. I did choose to use wood glue, which meant there was a lot more drying time, so I would put something together and then have to wait overnight for it to dry. Put the next step and wait. A lot of waiting. I did choose to paint some of my walls before I put it together, so there was more waiting. I did use the drying time wisely. You can see that I was actually working on the roaster for the log cabin during this stage. I was so excited when I was able to start putting it all together and seeing it take shape. The roof was the most nerve wracking for me. I was afraid it wasn't gonna hold. The roof might have been the worst for me for nerves, but the hardest part, hands down, was the tower. The instructions don't tell you that you need 10 hands to hold it together to get it to go right. But I got it, and the bay window side was a little bit easier, but not by much. And it was about this point in the process that I started to put some of the furniture and get some ideas for the future of the house. But before I moved to the inside, I had to finish the outside. I shingled the roof, and I painted the roof a nice slate gray. I had grand plans to actually put real copper on the roofing, but life got in the way, so I just temporarily painted it as a copper paint, and eventually I will put the real copper on. Siding was another thing that took a hit during this build, so I took strips of poster board that I made, I glued them down, and then I painted them, and I think it looks pretty good. About the same time, I also worked on the foundation. I took bits of egg carton and I glued it on and then I mod podged it so that it actually was a hard So now comes the fun part, the wallpaper, the furnishings, everything that goes inside. More fun. This was my very first build and I did learn some lessons. The first lesson is keep a picture of the dollhouse handy. The instructions does not include a picture of the dollhouse. And the front of the box is the only picture you have. Lesson number two, sand, sand, sand. Sand everything. Don't try to cut this corner, sand it. Another lesson that I learned was try to know what you're gonna do on the inside before you build it. Wallpapering and painting after it's built is much more difficult. I chose to do it this way because I was still planning on electrifying this dollhouse, so I didn't really want to and really couldn't wallpaper and floor things first. But if you're not going to electrify it, do that first. It would be so much easier in the long run. The next lesson is that the stairways only come with one spine. And if I was doing it again, I would trace that spine so that I would have two because it would be a more flat surface. It would be a much easier build. The steps were horrible because there was only one spine. So I'm trying to balance the rises on something that's not there on one piece and it's not working. So I would trace the spine and make two and then I would be able to have a more steady surface to glue. If you are ordering this as a gift, I will caution you. I don't know where Jason got it from, but it was shipped directly in the box that clearly says Greenleaf McKinley on the front. This could be a problem. Luckily, Jason had it shipped to his parents' house, so it wasn't a problem and I was surprised. But keep that in mind. This was a very fun project. I enjoyed my first build and I plan on building more, but I do have other things that I'm working on, more remodels. Here in some upcoming videos, I'm sure you're going to see the interior rooms as they've come together and as I continue to put things together.